In this video we're going to have a look at the Windows 7 mouse settings. To access these settings you go down to your start menu. In the search bar type in mouse. And then just below control panel up here click on mouse and this will open the mouse properties box. So um, I'm going to go through all of these settings for you um, so it will make you uh, understand easier. I'm in the uh, buttons tab and you'll notice button configuration. This might be useful if you're um, left handed. You might want to switch the buttons over if you prefer. If you want that, just tick the box. Um, the double click speed might be useful if you're a slower double clicker. and You can test it out on this little folder on the right hand side. Move the slider to slow if you're uh, slower at double clicking. Move it to the uh, right to fast if you're a faster double clicker. Or you might be a little bit in between so just move it in the middle. The next option is click lock. I'll come and demonstrate that. Usually you would hold down the uh, left mouse button and holding it down you would uh, create a box to highlight folders. As you can see um, I've created a box here and um, I'm having to keep hold down of the uh, left mouse button. Now if I turn on click lock I can actually hold down the left mouse button just for a few seconds and then take my finger off and I can actually drag a box over the uh, folders I wish to highlight and this way it allows me so I don't have to keep hold down of the left mouse button to highlight uh, folders. So that's what click lock does. The next option is pointers. Now in this section you can actually customize your pointers. Um, using this pull down menu at the top you can select larger pointers. Um, this one here, uh, Windows Aero uh, you can have extra large and if I press apply you can actually see that it's uh, made my cursor larger. If white is not really a good color for you you can actually um, have another one here there's a black you can have large extra large or just normal um, I'll show you the extra large one click apply and it makes my cursor uh, black. Um, you can have magnified um, this will put like a thick black border around the cursor as you can see here and you can have inverted. Um, inverted is quite useful if you, um, you've got you know different backgrounds you might not be able to see your cursor so um, it just makes it easier for you to see. Um, that's a little bit different you may want to experiment with that. I'm going to put mine back to the way it was. The enable uh, pointer shadow option um, just basically puts a shadow around your cursor. The next one allow themes to change your mouse pointers if you've uh, maybe installed a theme for your Windows 7 um, which basically changes the background and uh, you know, different colors um, it also changes your mouse cursor so you might want to um, untick this box if you don't want that to happen. The next tab is pointer options you can change your pointer speed um, by using the slider here from fast to slow and uh, enhance pointer precision and just tick the box if you want that to uh, be enabled. Okay with the snap to option um, if you enable it um, when you open up a box it will automatically move your cursor to the um, default button. Um, I'll demonstrate that now. If I uh, turn it on press apply I'll just quickly go out of the uh, mouse properties there and I'll just bring up control panel and we'll go back to mouse here. Now notice what happens when I click on mouse. It instantly uh, jumps over to the OK button in the mouse properties box. Um, so that basically um, shows you what that does. Okay, The next option is mouse visibility. You can um, tick this box here to make the cursor have a trail behind it. You can have it set to long or short depending on what you prefer. You can hide the pointer while typing. Um, this can be useful you know if you're typing something you don't really want your mouse cursor in the way so if you have this box ticked it'll actually automatically hide your cursor while you're typing. The next option might be useful if you actually lose your mouse cursor. If I tick that on now and uh, press apply I'll demonstrate that. So if you just tap the control key which is at the bottom left hand corner of your keyboard give it a tap and you'll notice it brings up this circle so it's actually like a radar and it's homing in on your uh, mouse cursor so if you lose it this might be a good idea. Okay so the next option is 
the wheel um, if you've got a wheel on your mouse this option will be enabled and it will allow you to change the sensitivity of your wheel this might be useful if you're looking at websites and um, you know when you scroll up and down websites um, you can change the sensitivity of that with these options uh, vertical scrolling and horizontal scrolling the next tab is hardware I'm not really going to go into this because this is for advanced users okay so that is the um, mouse properties um, settings I um, hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to check out my website which is www.whiteclick.co.uk um, If you go to useful software on the website you'll be able to download uh, many different software there which you might find useful. If you check out video tutorials on the website um, you'll be able to keep up to date with my videos here on YouTube. Alternatively if you're looking at my videos direct on YouTube um, click on the subscribe button and subscribe to my videos um, I'll be posting regular videos um, so do stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.